Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and you just listened to a 1981 Yamaha C3 in this beautiful satin black finish. Now let me tell you about this piano. So this piano came to us as a trade, and a man had contacted us, and he wanted to buy one of our uh, Mason Hamlin, very high-end double B pianos, and he wanted to trade in his Yamaha C3, so he took some pictures that basically hid all the damage of the piano. And so we bought the piano from him, and then when we got it, we realized that we were swindled a little bit because he basically just hid all the features, all the damage and stuff that was done to the piano. Now, this piano was a walnut finish, like one of these guitars. I mean, it was, it was a natural wood finished piano. It was not black, but it was missing some veneer in places, and we thought, these are amazing pianos. The piano itself was awesome. There was no cracks in the soundboard bridge or pin block. The action was in phenomenal shape. There was a player system on it that we removed. Uh, but everything else about it was great. So we thought, man, we should refinish this piano in satin black since we do it to all of our, you know, Steinways and Masons and Canavis and Chickerings and stuff. So we actually stripped this piano all the way down and did a full refinish, hand rubbed lacquer finish on the cabinet and it turned out perfect. This thing is mint condition. What was cool when you do that is because this was a natural wood finished piano, we were able to save the inner rim. There was no damage to the inner rim, so we were able to save that. So the inner rim of this piano is still that like nice dark mahogany, which is just really awesome because you're not going to find another Yamaha C3 with a satin black finish and a mahogany inner rim, at least unless it was refinished. Uh, but guys, if you have any questions about this, oh, sorry, let me talk a little bit about C3. If you don't know what C3 is, this is what the model is, Yamaha has G series and C series. The Gs were for the general public. It's not what it stands for, but you can think about it like that. The C was, stood for conservatory. So these were the pianos that were their higher end pianos designed for conservatory, schools, churches, um, and they're the kind of the more primo ones. I actually grew up with a Yamaha C3 in our house. My family piano was a Yamaha C3. Um, and this one is really, really nice. We did voice um, the bass in the bass section. I did some work on the bass section myself to bring up some power there that I wanted, and it turned out really, really good. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.